Hi guys, I wanted to read again to you. This is The Little Hippo, a children's book inspired by Egyptian art by Anja Klaus and Geraldine L. Scharner. The Little Blue Hippo. This story begins in ancient Egypt during the happy age of the blue hippos. At the time, if you gazed at the watery marshes that lined the cities, you could see the hippos' backs curled up along the horizon. As the good masters of the River Nile, the blue hippos bask in the tranquil waters. All around them bloomed flowers, and the time went by the river's many plants left marks on their sun-bathed sun skin. Fish would brush against them, and butterflies would land on them, and the birds would peck without a fear that these strange turquoise creatures... One day, the youngest of them, the one they called Little Hippo, because the friend of Antifa, a tall old man with white hair, and every night, side by side, Antifa and Little Hippo would admire the setting sun. The sun dies each day to be reborn each morning, the old man would say. Soon I too will fall asleep, like him. Then the long journey will begin. When Antifa left for this unknown kingdom, and when he was laid below the ground, Little Hippo laid down beside him and fell into a deep sleep, a deep slumber. Time went by, days, months, and centuries. Hidden deep inside their tomb, Antifa and Little Hippo seemed to be forgotten. And then one bright morning, the first light of dawn, shovels began to dig through the earth. Hands began to search slowly through everything. One by one, the diggers removed multitudes of objects, each one more precious than the other. All this commotion woke up the Little Hippo, who, began fright who became frightened and hid beneath a stone. It was only then that he was noticed, noticed his size. Instead of growing all these years, he had been getting smaller and smaller and smaller. As soon as he got a chance, the little hippo slipped out of the opening. Nothing looked the same outside. The city had vanished into thin air, and the river and the blue hippos had disappeared. Where were his brothers, his friends, his parents? There was not even a single flower growing anywhere, not a single bird flying in the sky. Wind and time had taken them all. <clears throat> I need to find my own kind, thought the little hippo. Perhaps they left for a distant land in which Antifa often, also men often mentioned. And so he began his journey a minuscule blue spot in the big golden desert. He scampered for days. The more he walked, the more sand stuck to his skin, covering a beautiful turquoise color of his back. Soon he began to shine, shine as brightly as the sun. Little Hippo, little by little, by little Underneath his feet, clay began to replace the worn sand of the desert. Houses lined the roof, the, the road here and there. And when the wind blew clay and dust all over his body, the little hippo took the appearance of the setting sun. In the distant forest appeared the little hippo, was so happy to see the trees and plants again, he rolled around in the leaves and ate them with delight. When he came out, he was as green as a prairie. Little Hippo kept walking and walking for what seemed to be eternity. 
He, at last, he saw tall silhouettes in the horizon. A thick fog floated in the air, heavy with dust and smoke. Exhausted, little Hippo laid down and fell asleep. When he woke up, he looked just as gray as a mouse. Little Hippo, Hippo sighed. He had been traveling for so long, he would never find his long-lost ancestors. When he caught sight of the water flowing gently in, in a meandering river, he slipped into it and began to cry. All of the sudden, as the current washed over his small round back, he saw them, his parents, his brothers, his friends, and they were all waiting for him in a pyramid made of glass. Filled with joy, little Hippo ran to join them with all of his strength as all the strength his little legs would allow. Ever since that day, little Hippo has slept blissfully, blissfully beside his family and friends. And meanwhile, around the earth, all hippos bathe tirelessly in hope that they one day will re reco recover the beautiful turquoise they once had. Statuettes of Hippopotamuses, 11th Dynasty. dynasty. A hippopotamus found in a tomb in Egypt in Dra Dar Abu el Nagra. Egyptian earthenware made during the 11th dynasty, circa 2040 to 1640 BC. Height 5 inches, 12.7 centimeters. It lives in the Musée de Louvre in Paris. William. A hippopotamus. What does the little hippo represent? For ancient Egyptians, the universe began with boundless oceans called the called the noun. It is from it is from the noun that everything else was born. The sun came out of the lotus flower on the first morning, and then the gods and the rest of the creature, creation appeared. Living in the marshes and covered in the aquatic plants, the hippopotamus, the little hippo, represents the first ocean of the world where everything started. He has even taken a watery blue color, which is also recalls the Nile, a river that was once fertile during the ancient times. Antifa leaves for the unknown kingdom. Where does he go? The white-haired old man leaves for a long journey on the day of his death. A journey to be with the gods. Ancient Egyptians believe that the sun is reborn every morning after the night. Life is reborn out of the realm of death. In the Egyptian tomb, vases and statues and offerings, just like the little hippo, were placed next to the sarcophagus or coffin to accompany the deceased after his rebirth. What were the hippos? Where were the blue hippos found? They were found in the tombs from Egyptians' Middle Kingdom, circa 2000 BC. Decorated with aquatic plants, these earthenware hippopotamuses recall the noun, the ocean where everything was born. They announced that the dead were coming back to life, and mummies also had specific jewelry that symbolized the rebirth, often showing a scarab beetle holding up the sun. Where is the blue hippos now? About 50 of them are scattered in the museums around the world, from Cairo to New York, from Paris to Berlin. We'll even find one in the British Museum of London. No two hippos are alike. They, the designs on their bodies vary. Plants, birds, butterflies, as does their size, going from 9 to 23 centimeters. But all has a beautiful lotus flower blooming on its big round bottom. Who uncovered all of these treasures from the ancient Egyptians? Archaeologists. Thanks to their fabulous work, we have come to know and discover the mysteries of the civilization and the kings and the pyramids and, the, and as they decipher an Egy ancient Egyptian writings or hieroglyphics, these scientists reveal thousands of years of ancient history. Today, they were continue their digging in Egypt and somewhere to un and, and somewhere else to uncover their treasures that still sleep below the earth. 
from pyramid to pyramid. Most Egyptian pyramids were tombs for pharaohs or kings and their loved ones. Pharaoh's klepto, Kepto's pyramids, one of the seven wonders of the world, is more than 4,500 years old. The glass pyramid from where the little hippos journey is much younger. It was designed by the architecture architecture Leon Ming Pi. Ming Pi, and it has been used since Pi Meng Pi has been used since 1989 as the entrance hall to the Paris Paris's Louvre Museum. If you wish to visit the Louvre, you can see the several blue hippos from the Little Hippos family. Thank you so much for listening to my book. I hope that you enjoyed and you learned a lot about the beautiful country of Egypt and William the Little Blue Hippo. Until next time, have a great day.